friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and today I'm just going to be updating my expense trackers. Um, I'm just trying to hold myself more accountable so anytime there is money movement, I need to be tracking my expenses and also every day I'm just going to be doing this because I have already tried a million of ways of trying to figure out how to keep track of my expenses and I mean tracking my expenses. I'm not the best of it. It's my biggest weakness. So I'm not good at it yet. But working towards it so let's just let me just show you what's going on so I got and I wrote over here because I just looked and I went to the bank and I just looked at my checking account so we have some money movement that happened so today is the first and we had I just saw that Apple music came out and that's a bill and that is at 12, I'm just going to say $13. I'm rounding up. So I'm going to subtract that from what was already in there. 55 in here. Now, you guys, I just received my state um, tax refund. But I just deposited this because we owe federal tax. So I was waiting for this to come through to help me pay my federal tax. And then also, we just purchased a home. We got a refund for the deed recording. So I guess they didn't use all the money they thought they needed for um, them to record our deed, the title to record our deed. So we had $15. So we had a total now of $709 um, deposited into the account. So I also have to show this on here so I can be tracking what is in there. So as I mentioned, we got this, and I'm just going to put um, taxes, tax refund, and we deposited $6.91, so that brings us up to $7.46, and the reason why I love doing this on paper and not only relying on the checking account it's because here you see it's the actual up to date and your checking sometimes takes forever to update. And then before you know it, maybe you're spending or you're not spending and it's just all over the place. Anyways, and we also have um, title refund. We got a, a refund from our title company that we used, $15. Okay, 761. And that is it for our, you know, checking account. And I'm just going to highlight the bill that came out. All right. I'm going to leave this unhighlighted because I'm not sure what kind of category that would fall under, but I'm just going to set this over aside. Now, you guys, we finally got some money movement in our um, cash envelopes. So last night, let me start with groceries because I did move money out actually this morning. Put this back in here real quick. So I'm trying to stay at a $75 budget for the month per week for us. And I had over $300. So I decided to move this extra um, $67 to a household sinking fund. So what is a household sinking fund for me? I'm just putting money aside because um, we bulk buy our, um, let's say our dish, soap, um, anything related to household, like trash bags, um, detergent, things like that. We buy them at Sam, so I just wanted to have a little sinking fund for it because we don't purchase the, that money every month, but when it does run out, I can just pull out of there, um, out of that sinking fund. So now, so I started with 300 in my account. Now you guys, I have over here what I spent today, goodness gracious have my receipts. I keep this in my purse and I just put my receipts in here. So I have the receipts of stuff happening today. And we will talk about this one later. So this is our Sam's. <laughs> guys, I went over budget by, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, 30 cents. 
But first things first, I need to address on here that I moved money out of my, in an account, I just put what kind of um, envelope that is. So out of groceries, um, I'm just gonna put same thing, household sinking fund. And this is under savings. And I withdrew $67. So I'm gonna subtract that from the starting balance. Okay, so that left us, that left us with $3.99 in both envelopes. Okay, so now out of this envelope, today I spent at Sam's I spent $75, and I'm just going to say $75 because I had the 30 cents in change. It was a miracle. So, $300 minus $75 leaves me with $225. Now, I'm going to put this up here as well. Sam's Club. This falls just under groceries, $75, I mean $75, yeah, $324, yes, okay, so guys, now we have to count this to make sure that what we, what we have here is, matches up to this, okay. All right, so we have 51, 52, 25, 225. So we do have 225 in there. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so <laughs> even though I'm in budget here, I did go over budget. So what happened was, you guys, is it's a beautiful day. And after, and I'll show you what I do with this, you guys. But um, I said, you know what? I actually remembered that I had a gift card to King Supers and decided, hey, it's a beautiful day. How about we make burgers? I'll try to be as um, cautious as I can to be under um, $15 or at $15 for um, the items that I was going to pick up at King Supers. So my idea was to just get some burgers, get some cheap buns, and get some chips. Um, and I thought if I go over like a dollar, I have that in change, like literally in change in my purse. So we'll be fine. We'll just use that gift card so we don't have to get into our grocery budget. Well, you guys, we go to King Supers. And you see, I'm over by a dollar and 25 cents, but I had that in change. I'm sure if you guys can see that. And then, you guys... The gift card only had $9.20. So I had to pay $7.05. And where did that $7.05 come from? Let me know if you can relate. This is why I'm doing this, you guys, because this is what I do. I said, you know what? I don't have that. I don't want to use that out of here because I knew that my budget for, for gas was $80 and I had extra money in gas. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to use my gas envelope. This is what I do all the time. This is why I don't know what's going on because I do this stuff. Um, so this is why I don't have a cash cushion. I mean, a checking cushion because if I had a cash cushion, you guys, I would have just swiped my debit card. But I said, I have money in there. I'll just swipe my debit card for those $7. So this is holding me accountable. So now I have to mark right here that I spent $7 out of my gas envelope even though, <laughs> even though I spent it on groceries. And this is just how my mind works, you guys. I said, you know what? I got extra money in, in, my, um, in my gas envelope, so I'm just going to go ahead and get some money out of my gas envelope. And that's exactly why I don't have a checking, uh, checking cushion. Because I said, you know what? I'll just use my card. I have, I have money in my checking account. Insane. Okay. Oh, and actually, a subscriber told me that I had $98, and that is right. I had to update that right here. So that makes, this is off 
by a dollar. So I need to make sure that this is actually 23. Because we actually started at 4, 6, 5. Okay, perfect. Almost forgot about that too. Just little things, you guys. Little, little things. We're off by a little. We miscount our money. And then we just don't know where we're at. And then when we try to balance at the end of the month, it's like, what, what happened? Okay. So... 98 minus the seven dollars is 91. I should let's I should have 91 in here. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 90. 1, 2. 92. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. I need to do that again. I knew I counted it wrong. Maybe. Uh, see, you guys, this is the issue. And maybe you guys are like, oh, I'm a dollar off. This is this is what drives me insane. Because I counted it the first time. This. And I had 98. And I even wrote it down on a sticky note. And then I counted again and I had 99. So I just stuck with 99. And then I had a, a subscriber says, hey, you had 98. And then I went ahead and I counted last night. And I did have 98. And then now it... It's just insane. It's like that missing five, you guys. I never found that missing five. Who knows? 20, 40, 60, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. There it is, 91. I'm not going to count that again. We're at 91. That's what I'm going to stick to. Okay, so we have 91 in here. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm gonna put in here that it came out of my gas envelope, but I spent it on groceries. And that is groceries. Seven dollars. Three, two, three, minus seven. Three, sixteen. Yes, okay, so now I'm just going to highlight these in real quick. So we have groceries. And then we moved some money over for savings for our household sinking fund. Okay, guys. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this is done. This is my binder. And when I'm done with my receipts that I have looked through, I put them in here. That way I know I have already looked in there and if I need to refer them back for my budget later on, I know where to look for my receipts. Okay, next thing I wanna talk about is that we returned some items over to Lowe's that we did not use for a dishwasher and we got $36.82 less, so $36 returned. It's still not showing up on our account, um, so that's why I did not put it on my checking because, you know, it takes some time and it's not in there. So I don't want to say it's in there. And then what happens if they made a mistake? And then I had to go back into the store and say, hey, you never showed up to my account. So I'm just going to be putting this in here. Okay, perfect, you guys. We know what's going on with our money, with our money movement. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for watching because it holds me accountable. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.